<clears throat> I'm really excited because I'm here for a first date. I don't want to jinx anything, but I got, uh, just this afternoon, uh, co-burial plots for us. Sharon, she is smart and fun and witty, and she likes wine. The most important thing on a date is to be yourself, and I'm very into medical science. So maybe she can talk about the grapes and the earthy overtones, and I can talk about the uh, cirrhosis. Okay, so when's Sharon getting here? Five o'clock. Let me just text her and see where she uh, see where she is. I don't know. Maybe she's the sort to, to run late. Um, So Jim, you're really health conscious. Yes. Is, wine, is drinking wine healthy then? There's a lot of conflicting evidence. Wine seems to be good for uh, cardiovascular health, for heart health, for your blood pressure, when you drink a low amount. On the con side, wine is linked to cancer. So. Can't recommend it from that regard, but it's delicious. Why can't we just know if it's good or if it's bad? Because nothing in the world is wholly good or wholly bad. You have to live with some ambiguities in your life. I get questions all the time. Jim, should I be drinking wine? Give it to me straight. Should I be taking a multivitamin? Do I need to see my doctor every year? Is CrossFit destroying my back? Are people who do CrossFit a little bit weird? Why do the same characters keep appearing in my dreams? Are CT scans causing more cancer than they're worth? Why am I pregnant? How many bananas is it safe to eat? How much gluten is enough to kill a horse? I drank a battery. These are complicated questions. There is ambiguity in science and in life. It's like she sends you a text one minute saying, I would love to get together for a drink. And then she's 30 minutes late and not responding to any texts. Um, when did you tell her to be here? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. I know. Hmm. So, some of the things you could talk about on a date uh, when it comes to wine are, do you prefer red or white wine? Uh, <laughs> do you like something that's drier? Rosés are still in, how is that possible? Did you know that heavy drinking can cause uh, hypertension, atrial fibrillation, ischemic and hemorrhagic strokes, um, non-ischemic dilated cardiomyopathy. Have you ever been to Napa Valley in the springtime? Hey Jim, um, it's 6.30, I actually have to go. Oh, that's fine, I should probably go too. You know that Sharon was my great aunt's name. Yeah, you told me. It just would have been so perfect. <clears throat> See you guys. Hey, Mom. Yeah, yeah, no, it was fun. Probably not the one for me, but, but we, had a, we had a really nice time. <laughs>